sitting in the back of the police car is the moment that Usman Nazir, 21 years old from Derby, realised that he wasn't going home tonight. Are there any weapons on you? Yes. Okay, so no knives? Okay, nothing that can harm me? No, sir. Alright, okay. I'm just going to put, hold your hands up there. I'm, I'm going to give you a pat down. I'm going to search the right side of your body. Okay. You're further under arrest on, on, for possession of a firearm. Got it. In the immortal words of Alonso from Training Day, are you going home or do you want to go to jail? You want to go home or you want to go to jail, huh? Every single day we make this choice and on this day, Usman made the decision to carry a loaded firearm to the barbers to get his hair cut. This decision would prove to be a mistake and he was later arrested by the police and they also found another firearm. And don't forget to follow our sponsors at DB Bulldogs on Instagram at Daz underscore DB Bulldogs and keep up to date with the latest. The story started on the 11th of May 2021 when unarmed police officers stopped Usman Nazir at the shop on Upperdale Road in Normanton. He was in connection to an unrelated matter and the police searched him and found a handgun in his pocket and also see a spray in his left pocket. He told police during the arrest that he didn't have any weapons on him and the firearms police were called to the scene and they made the gun safe and they found three live rounds inside. A further search of the 21-year-old's Great Northern Road flat revealed another firearm and also ammunition and quantities of cocaine and cannabis. On the 10th of January, Nazir was jailed at Derby Crown Court for the seven offences and was given five years. He was convicted of two times possession of a firearm, two times possession of ammunition, possession with intent to supply cannabis, possession with intent to supply cocaine. PC Laura McLucky, the officer who led the investigation, said, the officers were prepared for many things in the course of the investigation, but finding a loaded firearm in the pocket of a man getting his hair cut is not something you would assume would happen. Nazir was very calm when he was arrested, and he knew what was inside his pocket, and this is very short of incredible. The level of danger that Nazir posed was very high, and he showed that he was part of a serious criminal organisation, and he was willing to use force if necessary. <coughs> Okay. You're not saying anything, but it may hide you on your defence. You've not mentioned any questions to me, which may later allow in court. And if you do say, maybe given in evidence. Your arrest is necessary for the prompt and effective investigation and to prevent it being hindered by your disappearance. Okay. Oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Time 11.32. Detective Sergeant Chris Baker said, the arrest is an example of a potentially lethal firearm involved in everyday use by criminals. The calmness, professionalism and clear thinking of the officers involved meant that Nazir was arrested safely and he wasn't hurt, but that could have been very different if there was an armed officer and he had told them that he didn't have a gun. Usman is still very young and he's got a lot of time to be able to make some better choices in life. I really want to hear what people have to say on this video and sentencing as well. And in some other news, coming from Merseyside Police, a prison nurse has been convicted for smuggling drugs into HMP Risley. She was convicted and sentenced on the 10th of January, along with two other men. So she was working on the outside selling drugs and she was also selling drugs inside of prison. Daniel Durham from Tower Hill, Megan Woodham, the prison guard, and Kelsey Higgins were all jailed at Liverpool Crown Court. Durham was sentenced to 15 years, Higgins was given 13 years, and Woodham was jailed for 6 years. They were found guilty of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, following a two-week trial at Liverpool Crown Court. In addition, Woodham, who was the nurse, was convicted of supplying Class B drug ketamine by smuggling it into HMP Risley. A further defendant, Valerie Doran, was found guilty for money laundering and she's due to be sentenced on the 20th of January. The investigation is in connection to a man called John Butler, who was found in possession of 10 kilos of cocaine with an estimated street value of £1 million in January of last year. Police stopped a black Volkswagen car that was driven by Butler and he was carrying the 10 kilos of cocaine on Haitian Road. He was jailed for eight years at Liverpool Crown Court after admitting the possession with intent to supply Class A drugs. Detective Sergeant Peter Sloan said, We welcome the latest sentencing of everybody involved. This was a complex investigation and we had to arrest Butler and then we discovered other people that was involved in the organisation. So that is a really good example of how drugs are sometimes smuggled into prison, where it can be the prison guards or even the nurses that work inside there. 
So really appreciate you joining me for this update. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And follow on social media at Scarcity Studios. Peace.